Hello there, I'm Richard Osman. How lovely to have you back on House of Games. What a week we are having. At the end of the week, somebody is walking away with this trophy. It is going to be one of these four people. Uh, Josie Lawrence. Hello. Raj Bizram. Hello. Laura Whitmore. Hello. And Mark Watson. Welcome, welcome. Josie Lawrence. Yes, Bab. On Monday, that's nice. No one else calls me Bab on this show. It would be lovely <laughs> if the rest of you could call me Bab. I would appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, Josie, Mark won on Monday. Yesterday, you won. I know, I couldn't believe it. How did that feel? It felt good, but it's a little bit nerve-wracking at the same time. But nice to win. But nice, nice yeah, to lovely win. apron, and I will use that. Oh, it's a gorgeous I'll apron. I'll wipe my greasy hands on you. Oh, that is delightful. <laughs> Raj, how lovely to have you back as well. Um, Consistent. Consistently Absolutely. bad. Absolutely. <laughs> not consistently bad, I would say. Uh, consistently fourth, <laughs> that I will give you. Yeah, but okay. definitely not consistently bad. Let's take a look at the leaderboard, shall we, in fact? There you are, Raj, with three. Laura and Josie both have six, and Mark has seven. So it's very, very close. Uh, what can we do, Raj, to climb that leaderboard, do you think? Uh, you could give me some easier questions. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'll give you stuff about Clarice Cliff. Oh, and, uh, yes, please. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Laura. No, you're just one point off the lead on the daily yeah. leaderboard. But you haven't won a show yet. What can we no. do today? I think it's going to happen. Maybe um, today's my lucky day. I think it, I've think. i got my lucky um, Irish Aaron sweater on. Ah, excellent. I'm wearing my lucky Irish Aaron underwear as well. <laughs> nice and warm. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. Nice and cosy. Uh, Mark Watson. It's How bad. lovely to have you. But <laughs> there we go. Someone yeah. else calling me Babs. On Monday, you took home the House Against Cricket bat. Would you like to take a look at today's prizes? Yeah. If you are to win today, this is the selection you get to choose between. <gasps> We've got a bathrobe there. We've got a biscuit tin, some sparkling wine, dartboard, of course, and a passport holder, which thus far no one has chosen. That bathrobe is a real... That's a headline item, isn't it? I think it'd be hard not to go for the robe. It, it looks so... like you wearing it. It doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> yes, lovely to have you back on the show, Mark. Thanks uh, for thank using you. a model which makes it easy for me to picture what it would be like if I owned it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Laura, what would you go for? I think, well, yesterday, if I had won, I would have gone for the decanter because I'm building a bar in my shed. Oh, beautiful. Lovely so I'm thinking, what does it. a bar need? A dartboard. Dartboard, it really yeah, does. Dartboard. Lovely. Um, shall we play Wednesday's House of Games? We've had two separate winners so far. Are we going to have our third in a row? Let's find out, shall we? Our first game today is... Highbrow, lowbrow. I'm going to go along the line. I'm going to ask you each two questions, oh. OK? And the answers to each of those questions is the same. Right. right. The first question is a highbrow question, OK? And if you get it from that, you'll get two points. Okay. The second question, a lowbrow question. And if you get it from that, you get one point, OK? Josie, we'll start with you. Here is your first question. The literary character Jack Dawkins, who first appeared in a novel published serially from 1837 to 1839, is known by what by name? I know that name. Oh, I don't know. Do you want to pass is it straight Treasure to the Island? So is it... Is it... I don't know. It's, it's gone. We'll have to go low, Let's go low. I'm so sorry. Here we go. For one point, which garage <laughs> duo has had UK top ten hits with Craig David, Romina Johnson and Melanie Blatt? The answer to both of those is the same. Are what, we not helping you out at all there? What a garage duo brown? is. Um, all I can think in my head is, is Treasure Island and it's not... But... Should we time you out? Yes. OK, we'll time Josie out. Have you got this one at home? Let's see if anyone wants to buzz in. Anybody? Oh, you'll know it when I tell you. It's the, the Artful I Dodger. The Artful, Artful Dodger. Dodger. Artful oh, Dodger. Oh, Lord. Lord. When you say yeah, it, it yeah. makes yeah. such sense, doesn't it? Do you know what? I, I made the same I mistake Treasure as you. Island. Yeah, because Jim Hawkins is Treasure Island. Jim Hawkins, So I was thinking of, course, of that, but Jack Dawkins made me think of, of that. Never mind. Very well done at home, as you said, uh, <laughs> Artful Dodger. Yeah, Artful Dodger, a garage duo from the 90s. Raj, a highbrow question for you. In what economic phenomenon do large numbers of people buy shares in a firm that is not yet financially successful, paying more than the shares are really worth? Bull market? Bull markets, you're saying. The low brag one would be, what do you call a market with bulls in it? <laughs> <laughs> Fingers. <clears throat> yeah. um, here's your low brag question, Raj. See if you want to stick with your answer. Which character in Absolutely Fabulous was played by Jane Horrocks? You can stick with bull market if you want. Maybe she was called that. Don't think so. No. Uh, Looking to see if anyone else is leaning forward. Yeah, Josie. Can is. we? Can we press? Uh, if, yep. Yeah. If we're, uh, okay, let's time Raj yeah, out, out, and we've got ourselves a little buzzer race. It's not a race, as as <laughs> Josie. Well, bubbles. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll give you that. Bubble yeah. is the correct answer. Very well yeah. done. <laughs> Bubble. Um, Laura. Yes. For two points. A highbrow question for okay. you. Mm. 
which Richard Greenberg play about a professional baseball player won the 2003 Tony Award for Best Play? No. No, no. no. Go no. straight to Lowbrow? Just go Lowbrow, straight in there. Straight in with Lowbrow. On which TV show could contestants win a date on the Isle of Fernandez? Hey, no likey, no likey. Um, <laughs> I'm completely blank, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Paddy McGuinness. What is the show called? Um, also, what is it? It's a play, that's the same word. Same name, yeah. Um, dating show, I actually can't think of it. Shall we time you out? You can time me out. OK, anyone yeah. want to buzz in? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that adds an oh. insult to injury, doesn't it? Oh. Uh, Mark. I feel bad doing it, really, but take me out. Oh. Yeah. Take me out yeah. is the answer. Take well, me out to the ball game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Makes sense, great game. name for a play. Uh, Mark, two points if you can get a highbrow question. I'll tell you what, based on what we've seen so far, you might as well go straight to the lowbrow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a go. Which mountaineer led the 1924 Everest expedition, setting a world record for climbing without oxygen and reaching a documented height unsurpassed until 1953? Edmund Hillary's a mountaineer, but I've got no idea about these time frames. 1924, I don't know when. Edmund Hillary's a mountaineer, definitely, so let's have a crack at that. So, Edmund Hillary, you're saying? Well, like, maybe just Hillary, you know, like... Oh, OK. So you can say Hillary. Mm. OK, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, Hillary says, Mark, let's take a look at your lowbrow question. Who plays the narrator in Fight Club? I think the narrator was Edward Norton. So I suppose I'm going Norton as the mountaineer. You're saying Edward Norton? It, yeah. Let's take a look. Is it Edward Norton? Wow. It is Edward Norton. Well done. <laughs> Um, Josie, yeah, another no one for problem. you. Highbrow question for you, for two points. Yeah. Supposedly adopted from a political insult aimed at President Andrew Jackson and later used by cartoonist Thomas Nast in the 1870s, which animal has long been the unofficial logo of the Democratic Party in the US? What animal would be considered an insult to someone? A skunk or a beaver? Which I might say beaver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beaver is Josie's answer. Would you like to stick with it or change your answer when we see the lowbrow question? What is the name of Shrek's talkative companion voiced by Eddie Murphy? I have no idea. Oh, Donkey. Oh, yeah. is it Donkey? Me and Laura were well, like, well played. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm both fancied a bit of that. I, really well, I, that. I, knew, that. I knew that. I knew that from the highbrow. Um, both of us fancied it from the highbrow. Oh, sure. well, I can that see would have been a lovely <laughs> couple of points. Oh, man. Uh, donkey, one point there for Josie. Raj, two pointer for you. Which novel by Anna Byrne, set during the Troubles in Northern Ireland, was the winner of the Booker Prize in 2018? No idea. No idea. We'll go straight to lowbrow. Straight to lowbrow. Straight to lowbrow. Anyone? I haven't got that off the two-pointer. Well done if you have. According to Benny Hill's 1971 novelty song, what was the profession of Ernie? It was a milkman. Milkman? Point to Raj. Very well done. Milkman was the answer. Answer to both of those. Laura, yes. one for you now. I'd love one. Two points if you can get it from this. Do Here we go. What term denotes the dividing line between the dark and sunlit portions of the moon? Oh. Mm. No. Go straight on to lowbrow. Straight to lowbrow. OK, lowbrow now for one point. It's got the same answer. The Sarah Connor Chronicles was a TV spin-off from which film franchise? Terminator. Terminator. Is it Terminator? <laughs> it is Terminator. Wow. That's I not... Didn't know I didn't that. know that top... Anyone know that no. top? No. Oh, no. I was thinking I've the equator or something, but... Uh, Mark. OK, can we get a two-pointer? I wonder if you can answer this. In the lyrical drama Prometheus Unbound by oh. Percy Bysshe Shelley, which spirit of the underworld, the supposed child of Jupiter, ends his father's reign? Ah, oh, no. I say, what's the fella's name? Not really a fella, is he? More of a spirit of the underworld. I suppose it's more than 20 years since my degree, and that is starting yeah, to show. Yeah, yeah, I think no, it's I'm OK. Not, I, I, haven't got it. I haven't got it in my head. No, nope. should we go to uh, Lowbrow? So, for one point, Mark. What's the main monster in the first series of Stranger Things? I don't remember it having an actual name, just being a sort of horrible thing that... Yeah. No, I don't think I'm going to get it. No, OK, we will time you out. Poseidon? Josie. Is it Poseidon? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> um, let's take a look at the answer. Well done if you said this at home. We haven't got it here. It is... Demogorgon. Demogorgon. That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our scores. 
wasn't a massive scoring round. Right. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't a huge scoring round. There we go. Raj and Laura, you have one each. Uh, Josie and Mark, our two winners this week, have two each. <laughs> Let's play round two straight away, shall we? Today it's going to be... Spell terrible. A pairs game. The player in last place gets to choose their partner. Laura, you're joint last at the moment yes. by one point. Mm. Who would you like to play with? We've had the same pairs uh, yeah. both days this week. I think we'll stick with that. I think. Staying with Mark. Mark, yeah. I, I'm it, quite, quite happy. But it just feels nice because it's this half of the room and everything. Yeah. So Laura and Mark are a team once again. Raj and Josie are a team once again. Now, in this round, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Uh, buzz in, give me a correct answer. And if it is correct, I will ask your partner to spell that answer. <gasps> OK? And oh you only get a point God. if you get the correct answer and it is spelled correctly. Oh, okay? Okay. gosh. I genuinely wish you the very best of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look, shall we, at your first question. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. At Christmas time, people are traditionally encouraged to kiss when they are standing under a sprig of which plant? <laughs> yes, Mark. Mistletoe. Mistletoe is correct. So, Laura, for a point for your team, can you spell mistletoe? M I S T L E T O E. Oh, never in doubt. Well, thank you. That's, That's so good. That's so stressful. It's like bringing me back to being five again. Yeah, I find it stressful even listening to you. I can look at you right in the eye. Um, here's your next one. Buzz in, please. Give me the answer to this. Often attributed to Sherlock Holmes, explaining a case to his companion, what word begins the phrase that ends, my dear Watson? <laughs> yes, Mark, again. Sorry, but you can imagine if you're called Watson, you have a lifetime of people saying Of oh, course, this. yes. Uh, elementary. Elementary is correct. Ready? Laura, for the point. <laughs> spell, Thanks for this. <laughs> sorry, spell mate. elementary, my dear Whitmore. E-L-E-M-E. <laughs> N T A R Y. Yeah. Very sure. well done. <laughs> Here's your next question. What is the answer to this, please, and how do you spell it? What is the first name of the actor who plays the title role in the 2018 film Mary Queen of Scots? <laughs> that is Laura. Oh, I should have. I should have got you to say it because I definitely know how to spell this. Oh, okay. Saoirse. Saoirse, Saoirse Ronan. is the correct answer. So, oh, no. Mark, oh, no. for the point. I know how to spell it, but I should have let you guess. Think Irish. Stick in vowels where you don't think there should be vowels. <laughs> S. I'm sorry, I'm, gonna, don't even, I'm not even going to look at you. OK, S. S A I R. Oh, oh, already oh, over. Oh, it is not, I'm afraid. It's difficult. How would you spell that, Laura? S A O I R S E. Beautiful. Well done. I mean, Unlucky obviously, Mark. that's how you spell it. Sorry, Saoirse. Saoirse. Yeah, Saoirse. 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 Yeah. Saoirse. It's as easy as spelling Mark. <laughs> no points there to anybody. Um, here's your next one. Which of Spain's Canary Islands is the second largest? Mark. I reckon it's maybe Fuerteventura, just because that would be very inconvenient to spell. Yeah, yeah. wouldn't it just? Is it Fuerteventura? <laughs> it is Fuerteventura. So, Laura, Sorry, for the Laura. point, could you spell Fuerteventura? Is it F? U. E. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. R. T. I'm so stressed. <laughs> e. R. Ooh. Oh! oh. So much of the hard work. For that was like an electric yeah. shock. When yeah, it that's really unlucky. <laughs> um, let's take a look at the rest of it. Just Ventura. Oh, just Ventura. V -E -N -T -U -R -A. I knew this bit at the end. I just stuck the extra orange. Oh. Um, final question in this round. Which rock band had a 2003 number one hit with Bring Me to Life? Oh. Uh, Laura. Ever, ever, Evanescence? Evanescence? Evanescence. Evanescence, yeah. Is oh, the wow. correct answer. Oh, no, is it well really done. the correct <laughs> answer? <laughs> <laughs> Never heard look, of that. Look how delighted Mark was that you got that right. <laughs> I'd like nothing more than to try and spell Evanescence on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, uh, nice and slowly, letter by letter, could you please spell Evanescence? E V A N E S <laughs> C yeah, look at this. Mm. E. There's only one big stumbling block. I know, left. mate, and I'm, yeah. I can see myself. <laughs> N. You're, you're heading straight for it. Okay, here we go. 
Oh my God, is this an S or a C? This feels like one of the biggest moments of my life, so Yeah, this is. <laughs> biggest this moment. is a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm taking it too seriously. No, no. <laughs> but Laura's got a yeah. point riding on this as well. <laughs> C, I'll say C. <gasps> oh! E. And E, well played. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Evanescence, what a lovely end to the round as well. That, that word seemed like done. it went on for oh. absolutely oh. ever. Oh, gosh. Congratulations, I... though. Uh, well played, Mark. End of that round, let's take a look at what it has done to the scores. Here's how we stand. Raj still on Ooh. one, Josie still on two, Laura, you now have four, Mark Watson has five points. Well done. Shall we play round three? Oh, yeah. Today's House of Games. Round three today is... Opposites attract. OK, fingers on buzzers, everybody. Uh, I'll show you a category, and then I'm looking for answers within that category, but the clue I will show you will be the opposite of the answer I'm looking for. Okay. So the first category is this. Jodie Foster films. So I'm looking at the titles of Jodie Foster films and these clues are the opposites of those titles. Okay. So here's your first one. The Noise of the Lions. <laughs> yes, Laura. Silence of the Lambs. Silence <laughs> of the Lambs. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs becomes the Noise of the Lions. <laughs> here's the next one. Monday and Monday. Mark. Freaky Friday? Is Freaky Friday? Oh, I didn't know she was in that. No, did I? Oh, Freaky Friday. I didn't know she was in it. <laughs> um, <laughs> this next one, what is this the opposite of? Bus passenger. <laughs> yes, Mark. She's not in Taxi Driver, is she? <gasps> taxi Driver? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, oh, that's yes. nicely done. That was a young that, Jodie Foster in Taxi Driver. Was, Surely, yeah. Very Brilliant. nicely played. You don't think of it as a Jodie Foster film, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Next category, cocktails. So these are the opposites of cocktails, but which cocktails? Oh. Jerry Oxford. Okay. Oh. Yes, Mark. Tom Collins? Tom Collins. Is it like the dictionary, is it? It's correct, oh, absolutely. Oh. Tom and Jerry. Everyone's thinking Tom and Jerry. something came from Tom and Jerry and Oxford yeah. and Collins. Uh, trying to think about came from That's very clever. Whoever thought of that. <laughs> yeah, that's clever, isn't it? Well done if you got that at home as well. Well played, Mark. Next cocktail. Newfangled. Mark. Oh, hang on. I mean, old fashioned, but is that the name of the cocktail? It's old yeah. fashioned, yeah. it yeah. certainly it's a good is. Good one yeah. as well. Well done, well played. Um, next cocktail. Abstinence on the mountain. Mark. So, sex on the beach. Yeah. Sex on the yeah. beach. Yeah. Been so waiting for that one to come yeah. along. It is. Well done. Um, next category. Landmarks. So, which landmarks are these the opposite of? It's a very good round for Mark so far. Earth pin. Mark. D don't fancy this, but space needle. Space needle. Absolutely right. Well done. Oh. Space needle. Uh, final question in this round. Which landmark is the opposite of this? Albert Rises. Uh, yes, Mark. Uh, Victoria Falls. Victoria Falls, yeah. There's a few people on the buzzer there. Well done. Uh, that's the end of that round. Three rounds down. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go on record as saying that was a pretty good round for Mark. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. I've been waiting a long time to find what my niche in life so is. Cool. And it turns out <laughs> naming the opposites of two things concurrently. Yeah, finally. OK, let's take a look at the scores. Uh, Raj with one, oh, Josie two, oh, oh, Laura five. Oh, oh. 12 points for Mark, seven mm. point lead. Well done. Um, two rounds to go. Let's see if we can catch those seven points up somehow. <laughs> Our next round is going to be... And the answer isn't. Now, in this round, you help me out before the show. <laughs> OK, you have to fit in some homework. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go down the line, starting with you, Josie, I'm going to ask you a question. There will be four possible answers. One of them is the correct answer. The other three were written by your opponents. <laughs> OK, if you give me the correct answer, you score a point. If you give me an incorrect answer, you'll give a point to one of your opponents, whoever has written the answer you chose. Josie, mm -hmm. here is your question. On the flag of the British Overseas Territory of Bermuda, what object appears inside the shield on its coat of arms? Is it a triangle, a sinking ship, a small bottle of rum, or a crab? A sinking ship feels like it's the most obvious because it's the least. Oh, uh, OK. <gasps> I think I might go for crab. You might go for crab. Just because, you know, Bermuda the sea, 
So, Josie's gone for crab. Do you agree at home? You've gone for crab as well. Let's take a look. Josie, have you been fooled by one of your opponents or have you scored <laughs> a point? <laughs> oh, you have been. I would have gone for crab. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at what the answer was. You see? No that? way. That's amazing. That's so shit. <laughs> well, that's self effacing country. <laughs> I want to, I want to go Mila. and have a look at that flag yeah. now. So, who have you given a point to? Who wrote crab? Oh, of course. Well, he could do with the points, yeah, so exactly. I can yeah, that's either. Nice. It's a very charitable thing of you to do, Josie. <laughs> I would never have guessed. That's amazing, isn't that it? That is amazing. I should have gone with the gut. A triangle. Oh, Bermuda Triangle, of course. Yeah. That was written by Laura and a small bottle of rum. That almost convinced me, Raj. It <laughs> uh, was Raj Bizram. Very well played, Mark. Unlucky, Josie. Uh, Raj, a question for you with yep. four possible answers. Which of these is the word for a baby platypus? OK, one of these is correct. The other three have been made up by your opponents. <sighs> Puggle. Uh -huh. Pluckling. Pup. Or Plusial. <sighs> They've not done a bad job. They've not done a bad job. I mean, these three. Plattling sounds and pup. They're the two I quite like. What do you reckon at home on this one? I'm going to go for Plu Seal. Let's find out, shall we? Is Plu Seal the correct answer? Oh. It is not. <laughs> what was the correct answer? Puggle. Oh, wow. oh, how oh lovely. that's so lovely. So it's, it's a great word. Yeah. 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 Uh, so who have you given a point to? Who said Plu Seal? Laura. Well I played, Laura. <laughs> Very nicely word. done. <laughs> uh, Pop was Josie and Platling was Mark. Um, Laura. Here's your question. You've got four possible answers. What is the title of the 1967 sequel to The 101 Dalmatians written by Dodie Smith? OK, one of these is correct. Is it The Starlight Barking? Marley and Me? The Day That Wasn't There? Or Cruella's Revenge? Hmm. Well, Marley and Me is a film. Mm -hmm. That's nothing to do. That's the Jennifer Aniston film. Cruella, Cruella de Vil is obviously the character in 101 Dalmatians. It could be legit, so I think someone made it up. Does that make uh, sense? Yes, it makes complete <laughs> sense. So barking obviously has to do with dogs barking. So that could be someone trying to mess with my head. So I'm going to say the day that wasn't there. The day that wasn't there, says Laura. What do you think at home? You agree with that? Let's take a look. Is that the correct answer? It's not. It's not. What was the correct answer? The Starlight Barking. It's <gasps> a lovely name. It was between the two. So who have that... Honestly, the day that wasn't there has Mark Watson written all over it. Mark, was <laughs> yeah. it you? Yeah, it was. Oh. It was. <laughs> Marley and Me was... Raj and Cruella's Revenge was yes, Josie. I was being too obvious, wasn't I? Uh, Mark, okay. I wonder if you uh, could get the first correct answer in this round. Here's your question. What official position did Ross Kemp hold from 1999 <laughs> to 2000? OK, one of these is correct. Advisor to BBC Security. Rear of the Year. TV Choice Soap Star of the Year. Or Rector of Glasgow University. Well... Wow. Hmm. Rector of Glasgow University, if it is a fake one, is a brilliant answer by someone, because... <laughs> Advisor to BBC Security is maybe two on the nose. Rear of the Year definitely is a real thing, and but I don't have any opinions on it. I can't picture Kemp's bum, which is maybe for the best. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to go for the Soap Star of the Year, just because that does sound like something that would be true. OK, you're going for TV Choice Soap Star of the Year. Is that right? It is not. What is the right answer? What did you say at home? Rector of Glasgow University, what? you nearly Brilliant. said it. Yeah. Uh, so who have you given a point to? Who said TV Choice Soap Star of the Year? Laura. I got in your head. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who said advisor <laughs> to BBC Security? That is a great answer, Raj. Right? <laughs> it was plausible. They're all plausible. Uh, and Rear of the Year was Josie. So no one got one right there. So no. everybody fooled everybody. We have one more round to go on Wednesday's so House of Games. <gasps> Let's take a look at the score, shall we? Going into our final round, here's how it's looking. Raj still <laughs> at the bottom there on one. Laura, you have seven. Mark, you have a seven-point lead going into the final round with 14 uh, well, points. No complacency. No complacency. Shall we play our final round? Yeah. yeah. It is, of course. Our old friend, answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. 
Here is your first category. I'm a celebrity winners will be the, uh, the pictures. And here are the clues. What is the name of the cul-de-sac that was the main setting of a Liverpool-based Channel 4 soap that first aired in 1982? Yes, Laura. Oh, so that's Charlie Brooks. And she won us to Charlie Brookside. Is that right? Is that right? Uh, yes, Charlie Brookside. Close. I'll accept that. Thank okay. You. Nicely done. Here's your next I'm a Celebrity winner and your next clue. Which celebration commemorating a Scottish poet is held annually on the 25th of January? Yes, Mark. Tony Blackburn's Night. Tony Blackburn's Night. It's right. Well done. Which is something we should yeah. celebrate. We should have Tony Blackburn's night. That it would be nice, replace the, burn, the real yeah. one. Yeah. Just all dance to 70s soul. <laughs> Next uh, winner of I'm a Celebrity. Usually associated with pirates, what word needs to engage in daring or romantic adventures with bravado or flamboyance? Yes, Laura. Joe Swashbuckle. Absolutely, Joe Swashbuckle is right. Well done. Joe Swash and Swashbuckle. Next category. Sea creatures. Ooh. Here is your first sea creature and your first clue. By area, what is the largest constituent emirate of the United Arab Emirates? Yes, Laura. Krabu Dabi. Yeah. Krabu Dabi. Yeah. <laughs> Krabu Dabi. Uh, let's take a look at your next sea creature. Which Channel Four dating show has been presented by Anna Richardson since 2016? Laura. Is it like Snaked Attraction? No. Yeah, I'll accept that. It's a water snake, I water assume, snake, but it's yeah. a naked attraction. So, sea snake sea attraction. Snake. Very good. Yeah, very nice. Sea snake and naked attraction. Um, next category. <laughs> That's the end of Wednesday's House of Games. I wonder, I wonder <laughs> who has won. On Monday, Mark Watson was our champion. On Tuesday, Josie Lawrence was our champion. Who is our champion on Wednesday? It is. Mark Watson by four points. Congratulations. You have a prize to choose. What would you like to go with today? You've already got a cricket bat from Monday. There's no doubt the dartboard is the best item there, really. So I'm, I think it'd be stupid not to have that. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, it's a beautiful objet d'art. Uh, ob it's a beautiful objet d'art. It's an objet d'art. <laughs> yeah. Mark Watson takes home a House of Games dartboard. Congratulations, Woo! Mark. Very well done. Let's take a look, shall we, at the weekly leaderboard. We're three days down. Two days to go, double points Friday on Friday. <gasps> so it's plenty of time to catch up. Uh, Mark, you have 11. Yet yeah, Laura still haven't won, but yet nine mm -hmm. points in second place. Josie, you have eight. Raj, you have four. So all to play for in our final two days. Uh, it'd be nice to see Laura get a win. Absolutely. It'd be nice to see Raj get a win as well, <laughs> yeah, but listen, you've got to be careful what you wish for. Yeah. You, in this one. Uh, <laughs> Laura is going to get one. <laughs> Laura is going to get one. I would have thought so. You can, so you can feel it. You can't, come second. you can't come second every day. No, she's you can. Um, thank you all so much. I'll see you here, same time, same place tomorrow. Uh, we'll see you as well, same time, same place, on the House of Games. I wouldn't say this lightly, this is one of the best dartboards with a TV presenter on that I've seen.